YouTube. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel, The Masculine Legacy. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about that how doing monk mode will attract a wife for you, how you can get a good, virtuous woman, a godly woman, your own Eve, by being on monk mode semen retention, right? It's gonna be a crazy, crazy, crazy video, guys. And I'm gonna be touching all the points in great depth. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end, like this video, share this video, comment down and subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell icon to join the best channel for young men's self-improvement. So without any further delay, let's jump into the video, guys. So I know that I keep on hammering uh, the importance of monk mode and uh, my previous last two, three videos were essentially on just on monk mode. I just keep on touching it touching this topic of monk mode from different different angles because and i know that a lot of you a lot of you guys may think that why why so much i am uh, why i am why i am speaking so much on monk mode but the point is this is the beginning beginning guys monk mode will solve 80 to 90 percent problems in your life as a man right and this is true because when you are on monk mode you are on your mission you are on your purpose you are not watching pornography you are cutting off from masturbation habits you're cutting off from all the bad habits like playing video games uh, sitting just like a loser doing nothing with your day procrastination all day and uh, just keep on scrolling your social media just smoking some weed in your room or drinking alcohol going to clubs going to parties and just having chill time with your friends you are you are doing none of that shit and where you are putting these times you are putting these you do are you are putting this this uh, free time right which you were earlier spending on these brainless activities now you are taking up all this time and you are investing this time into building your body physically you are uh, utilizing this time to uh, to get better at your job to acquire some skills or to start a business right or to to start a youtube channel whatever you want to do you are channelizing your free time into some productive work and that's what monk mode, monk mode is for, to make yourself the best version of you, right? So, but for this video, I'm going to be talking about that, how being on monk mode will attract a wife for you. So I'm going to be, uh, as you know what, I'm, I'm a great fan of God, religion. If you are watching my channel for a time, for a while now, you know that I'm a big fan of religion, right? No matter what religion you follow, all religions are good. They all preach the same thing. And I'm a God's man and I inspire to be a God's man and I have no shame and hesitation. I claim, I claim, I, I might sound some, some kind of arrogant dude, but I claim that I'm a God's man. So the point is that uh, in Bible, in Genesis, it has been said that God decided when Adam was in, in the Garden of Eden, Eden, when Adam was doing his stuff, right, enjoying his time in the Garden, uh, which he was... Uh, intended to do that then God thought that Adam should not be left alone and God took the rib of Adam and made a woman out of her out of out of him right and uh, that's how woman was born according to Bible so why I'm narrating this story here the point is see as a man you need you're gonna need a woman right uh, and all these guys uh, who say that uh, we don't need women, we don't need women, and they just keep on having sex with these random bitches at clubs, right? Swiping right and left on Tinder and doing all kind of degenerate stuff and harming their soul, selling their soul to devil, right? Doing these kind of brainless activities and demolishing the social structure. These guys just keep on hammering that women are hoes, this and that. And I know that, I, I admit that West is totally fucked up. West is not a place to marry anymore and uh, I'm not alleviating all the girls in West, right? Don't, don't just uh, misunderstand my statement. All I'm saying is that like majority of women these days are not being held accountable for their own actions uh, and life as a man is very, very hard and it's getting harder and harder each passing day. Uh, women's expectations are getting um, at the par, through the roof, through the ceiling, right? And it's been very, very tough to get married in today's modern times. But uh, uh, as, as a man, I also say that I'm from India. I'm from southern, southeast part of Southeast Asia, right? Uh, and things are getting worse here too. I say that, I admit that. And I totally say that there are 10% chances that I will ever get married. 
there are 90% chances that I will be single for the rest of my life. But I have no regrets for that and I can say it proudly on camera. I don't have any shame that if I stay single forever, I don't need a woman if she is not my wife. Because I'm not going to be fornicating, I'm not going to be committing adultery, I'm not going to be a sinner, I'm not going to sell my soul to devil. No matter how much time gets worse, if each and every woman in this world becomes a hoe and starts sleeping with random guys, I don't give a fuck because I won't, I won't, uh, I will never marry, uh, marry a hoe. I will never ever marry a woman with high body count, a woman um, essentially like I will prefer a virgin, but essentially I won't marry a woman who is a party girl, who is just a dumb hoe partying all night in the clubs, which majority of girls sadly are becoming today, sadly, right? And it's, this number is increasing, but uh, I just digress from the topic guys but the point is uh, as I said that when you are on your mission when you are on monk mode right God will give you a woman because naturally when you are on monk mode you are on your mission you are building yourself physically financially emotionally spiritually in every aspect of your life when you are building yourself you are raising that masculine energy you are raising that bar of masculine energy for yourself you are becoming the masculine version of yourself and when it's like an it's like a law it's like positive attracts negative it's like a universal law right it's so the masculine energy will always and always attract the feminine energy the more masculine you are the more feminine girls you will pull in and the more these feminists these dumb hoes these uh, masculine kind of tomboys and these kind of girls the the more you will repel these kind of girls like see i'm, I'm a guy on semen attention uh, like i i'm currently i'm i just completed around 30 days on semen attention and i'm a highly highly masculine guy by my virtues by my thinking and by this fact because of this i repel a lot of girls like majority of the most uh, modern women don't like me as soon as i i i say some stuff or i just uh, talk about something in in general they will label me as sexist they will la label me as misogynist they will label me as some kind of crazy person some kind of nazi hitler right but the point is it is it is bound to happen because see a, like majority of women today are not feminine they are becoming more and more masculine right so a masculine woman don't won't like a masculine man because it's like a competition for her and a masculine woman will like a soy boy cuck beta simp but like I'm a, I'm a masculine man, so I will naturally attract a feminine woman. I will na naturally be attracted towards a feminine woman and a family, a, a feminine woman who wants to be, who wants to marry early, who wants to have kids, who don't want to uh, 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 run around on some decks and who don't want to on, be run through a, uh, a cock carousal in twenties, right? Who who wants to start a family? So this kind of woman will be naturally attracted towards me. It's bound to happen. See guys how it works and if you want to attract a woman in your life, you better attract a feminine one. You better attract a woman who wants to marry, who wants to have kids, who wants to be the mother of your kids and who does not want to party around, who has his demands low, who is submissive, who is su sweet, who knows how to be a woman in front of a masculine man, who knows that you are the leader of the family while you also being, you also putting in some work. Like you cannot be just a normal person, an average fat Joe uh, who has no responsibilities and you 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 demand of, of a feminine woman, right? It, it doesn't work, work that way. You first have to be the masculine version of yourself. You first have to be the best version of yourself. You first have to build your own kingdom. You first have to the, be the best in yourself, your own very best, right? I'm not talking about that you should be a millionaire or multi-millionaire. But the point is you should be your very best version only and only then. When you have built your own kingdom, when you are that Adam fulfilling his purpose in the Garden of Eden, right? Following Lord's word, God's word, then God will give you a, a, a God-fearing woman, a virtuous woman, a kind woman. And I know that uh, a lot of you will say, and I, even, even I also say that, uh, like, there are not many women in this world who are... Uh, like appropriate for marriage right uh, and especially in west they are not they are not at all appropriate for marriage right um, 
you can sleep with them you can have sex with them but you cannot marry them because you cannot make a wife out of a hoe as they say guys but the point is the percentage of masculine guys is also dropping like virtuous guys these days just want to party they just want to act like women they just want they don't want any kind of responsibilities they don't they are emotional they are acting out of feelings they are saying that oh i'm feel i feel this i'm depressed i'm a i'm a woman trapped inside the body of a man and all kind of crazy stuff they just want to play video games all the, all the day they just want to watch netflix and eat nachos sitting on their couches right and then they expect then they complain about female nature then they complain about uh, how females are getting degraded because the reason is the females are getting degraded one because of media one because of social media and all these kind of crazy feminist movements and apart from that there is also the fault of men because the men are becoming more and more feminine the men are losing their masculinity so someone has to come in someone has to charge in and work out for the balance right the men are becoming more and more feminine that's why women are becoming becoming more and more masculine it's 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 easy to see but it's not like that every woman is like that just like it's not like that every man is like a weak dumb uh beta kind of guy right it's it's not like that so uh, if there are good men there are good women too right and trust me guys there are good women right and let's let's hope because Uh, as i said i i i really think that i will never ever marry a bad woman i will always always i will marry a god fearing virtuous woman i won't marry just some random girl and i know that the chances are very bleak it's 10% but yeah let's hope in god because i'm going to be the 10% man too so if i am a 10% man then i will i expect that i marry a 10% woman i won't lower the my standards right if if women are allowed to have standards as a man i will also have a standard for my future wife so i'm not saying that you just go and marry any dumb bitch right but but there is a big but here before you put on conditions on women before you put on conditions before you judge women for who they are first ensure that you are your best first ensure that you are not partying around you are not act- acting around like a weak like a weak boy uh, like a coward a pussified man you don't be you don't behave like that you are acting in your best masculine frame right you are protecting you are providing for your family you are taking up responsibilities you are building yourself in every damn aspect of your life be it physical be it financial be it emotional be it spiritual don't act in in uh, like in degenerate ways don't uh, sleep with random women and believe in all these kind of pick up and red pill artistry don't do all these kind of degenerate stuff you cannot be feeding the same degenerate loop and then being complaining about uh, how ladies are getting this and that right how ladies are not good and this and that you are the fault my friend you are the fault if you want to attract a good woman first you have to be good man forget about that if there are good women or not but first you have to be a godly man if you want to attract a godly woman that's it for this video guys be on your mission and i hope that you like this video you like the message of this video and uh, that's it stay tuned and i will come with some new topics in my future videos till then keep smiling guys keep hustling love you all god bye goodbye